Wind and dry air whips the flames burning in Florida's panhandle. You're looking at video from Bay County's emergency services. Just hours ago, authorities lifted some evacuation orders for the Adkins Avenue fire. That's near Panama City, but crews are still fighting the Bertha Swamp Road and Star Avenue fires. Thanks for staying up with us as we track this developing situation. I'm Channing Frampton. Right now, there are more than 170 wildfires burning across the state of Florida, and the threat in the northern part of the state is not over yet. Just take a look at this fire danger for tomorrow. The Florida Forest Service has all the big bend in much of North Florida in this yellow shading, indicating a moderate category for wildfire activity. But it is a trend in the right direction. New at 11, ABC 27's Alexa Trishler joins us with how organizations in the Big Bend are helping our neighbors in the Panhandle as the state's fire season is just getting started. Local organizations are teaming up to take care of first responders, battling the Panhandle fires by dishing out 500 meals three times a day. So they got to do the job of, you know, saving Northwest Florida from this incredible tragedy. Over 15,000 acres of Bay County have burned in what's being called the Chipola Complex Fire. State Fire Marshal Jimmy Patronis says fighting it is a joint effort. Right now, federal, state, and local leaders are working with nonprofits like the Salvation Army to feed those first responders still battling the flames. Commanding Officer Major Ed Binnix says it's crucial to keep that effort going. Fighting fires for hours and hours on end is just, just it's exhausting work. Um, they're, they get dehydrated quickly. Um, this fire is just relentless. They've deployed their Tallahassee mobile feeding unit and even local restaurants are stepping up to provide meals. The Red Cross has an evacuation shelter to house and feed the community forced to leave their homes because of the massive fire. Executive Director Sharon Council Caraway says their volunteers have come from across the Big Bend. The event that people are allowed to go back into their homes um, depending on the situation, they'll be there to help with food distribution as well as um, material distribution, cleanup kits and comfort kits. All to make sure their basic needs are covered. We bring help and hope, you know, and, um, and that's what people need when they're experiencing one of the darkest moments of their lives. In nearby Jackson County, a burn ban is still in effect and residents are urged to call 911 if they see any fires. In Tallahassee, Alexa Trishler, ABC 27. That's hard work they're doing. Thank you, Alexa. And Franklin County also put a burn ban in effect over the weekend until conditions improve. The Red Cross and Salvation Army will stay in Bay County as long as they're needed. Both organizations are always looking for more volunteers and donations to help in disasters like this.